Welcome to Madison and Camp Randall Stadium. Always rowdy, always ready for the Badgers. They've been getting ready for this game since the early morning. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on another squad from the Big Ten, the Wisconsin Badgers. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth in Kirk Herm Street. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. this team to get us going. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Ducks offense comes on the field first today. And there's the star running back jogging out of the field. He is trying to add to his huge highlight reel, Kirk. Chris, honestly, I don't think we've seen too many running backs who can duplicate what this guy can do on the field. He's got everything. Vision, speed, power. He can diagnose a defense in real time. I'm really excited to see this kid play. Tackle made after a solid game. He'll spot the ball at the 34. Boy, good job up front by this offensive line and a nice job by the back of finding that hole to pick up the first down. And Honestly, Chris, this is what I think about when I think of Oregon. I know the uniforms and the flash and the dash and all the different things that people associate with this program. This is what I think about. Toughness. Ability to run the ball when they have to to pick up first downs. And they did it right there. An explosive play. Big game across midfield to the 42. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with the ability to run, remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. Scanning the field, it's Gabriel. Quick throw to his receiver. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Here's the handoff. And that's a solid game for the defense able to bring him down. Third down play coming up. Dropping back. He's going to throw for the first down. Worked over the middle, but it's incomplete. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. They will trust the kicker here from 55 yards out. Let's see if he can get it there. And he makes it now from 55 yards out. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50 plus. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So Wisconsin's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. And here comes the other star wide receiver on the field. This is really an elite group in college football this season, and both these guys belong in that group. Yeah, these guys have been chirping back and forth at each other in social media throughout the week. I want to see who has the better day because chances are that's the team that's going to win today. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The 
second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback keeps it here. Moves his way for a first down of the 35. I love the toughness of this quarterback to be able to pick up some good yards like this, to move the chains, to keep this drive alive. His team will feed off of his energy when he makes plays like this. First down and 10 now. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's green. Tackle made after the completion. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? And that one's picked off. What a play. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. Past the 20. At the 10. He steps out at the two, so close to a pick six, but a tremendous play. Chris, not only the awareness to come up with the interception, but the speed and athletic ability on the return. I thought he was going to take it all the way back, but the offense just did enough to keep him out of the end zone. After the huge play, they're pounding on the door. It's first and goal at the three. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. They're set now to try the PAT. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Looking to throw. It's Van Dyke. Receiver makes the grab. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Defenses all around the country got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. That completion sets up a second down play. A handoff from the shotgun. Solid run. They'll bring the bat to the 28-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. 
Well, what do you know here? An offensive coordinator from Wisconsin calling a nice run play for a first down. Man, we have been seeing this for so many years, so many decades. Wisconsin with the ability to run the football is just a thing of beauty. And the Badgers are moving quickly down the field. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's Van Dyke. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in the process, Chris, they sent a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. And the Badgers come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Couldn't find anybody open. It just has to throw it away. Offense sets up for play number eight on this drive. Gonna run it. It's Malusi. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He'll take a deep shot here. He's got it near the end zone. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. And they're trying to punch it in here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together. They stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. The defense has stuffed him twice in a row. Will they try to throw for it here on third down? Dropping back. It's Van Dyke. Pressure is coming. Cannot escape it. Down he goes. Well, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave your defensive backs out there on islands. But the good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. Kick is good. It gives the offense three points to show for that drive. Snap, hold the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So 
So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Wakes one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. The game makes it second and medium. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Caught near the sideline, it's Whittington. Heads out of bounds is a short gain on the play. Any good offense has to have a reliable quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. So ball of the 30, this is a manageable third down play for the offense. Here's the option play. He'll pitch it. And they bring him down, but not before he picks up the first. Good execution on the option. Third down, I think the defense is really expecting the ball to go through the air. Instead, the offense keeps it on the ground, gives it to one of the more skilled players, and he gets the yards he needs. Move the sticks. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Scanning the field, it's Gabriel. Snags the quick throw. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, a guy that can run it. Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws, and Justin Herbert. Of course, enough said. We see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. We're still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. Short connection to the tight end here. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the mark. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it... Oh, a sack! The senior on this defense making a big play. And through one quarter, it's been a duel of big-time receivers showing out early in this one. They flipped into the field, ready now for the second period. The Ducks will send the punt team onto the field. Bounce right at the three-yard line and into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot looking to find the end zone this time. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. A game makes it second and medium. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Receiver makes the catch. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. Send the back in motion. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Passes the 40. 
That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Looking to throw yet again. Makes a quick grab. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Pass complete. It's second down now. Quarterback drops back. No connection there. The pass is incomplete. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. That ball is snagged for a completion. Tackled at the 33, that's good enough for a first down. The key on a drag route is to put the ball out in front of the wide receiver to give him a chance to do what he just did. Pick up some valuable yards after the catch. And the Badgers' offense is on the move now. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke. Caught quickly. They bring him down after a short gain there. You see more and more offenses in college football going with three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. Second down, we're going to throw it. That's reeled in. It's Williams. And he will be stuffed for no gain. I love the call here with the wide receiver screen. Where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. It's third and four. So far, they're two for two on third down this possession. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? And they will trot out the field goal team here. He made good on his last attempt, but this one is from 45 yards out. And he knocks that one right through. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And it's field and Bertrand are trying to create good field position here. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Chris, the defense catches a break here. They got behind coverage. Looked like a big play, if not a touchdown. And the receiver just dropped the ball. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Quick completion to the tight end. They stop him, but it's a first down. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You've got to get pressure on the quarterback. 
but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. And the Ducks line up on first and ten now. Toss it to the back, running left. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, a great job here by this defense. They're trying to bounce this to the outside, take advantage of his speed in the backfield, but no chance at all. Defensive speed, building a diagnose to play, blows it up. Second down after that previous play. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Football comes out. The offense falls on the fumble and keeps possession. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate to get a teammate who's able to get on top of him. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Most offensive coaches, they're going to be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man. And I'm curious to see if they're going to test this defensive back again because of the excellent coverage he's having out there. And the Ducks will bring their punt team on the field now. They're going to kick it away for the second time. On the return, it's Anthony. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. They settled for three last time. Let's see what they can come up with this drive. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Back to throw. It's Van Dyke. Tries the right with a quick throw. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And it's a huge chunk play. The tackle is finally made, but the ball moved to the 47 yard line. The Badgers come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Trying to find room, it's Malusi. He's swallowed up at the line, could not get past that big defensive tackle. Offense getting set, second down play here. Here comes the handoff. Seven yard gain sets up a third and three. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And it's incomplete on the overthrow. Just too much on that ball. Boy, third down and short. They decide to throw the football roll the dice a bit doesn't work out now you're at fourth and short you gotta wonder with this offensive line and this running back do you run the football to convert or do they try to go through the air again and that is no good and it's still a four point margin after the miss now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense no points as he's off target and now you can see he's hanging his head that poor kicker And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. Here's the second down play. 
to throw. It's Gabriel. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Big gain across midfield all the way down to the 34-yard line. Boy, really nice throw here in the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete, comes up a little short on that throw. So, second down after the incompletion. Takes the ball and heads to the left. But the gain is just one yard. Sets up a third and nine now. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Stewart. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. The Ducks pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. First and goal, handoff. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Chris, down here inside a 10 yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Second and goal for the offense. It's a quarterback keeper. Zero running room. Stop right at the line of scrimmage. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, old school way is assignment football. You have to account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Well, they decide to throw the ball here on third down and short. I really thought the easy thing is just run the quarterback or hand it off, pick up the first down, keep this drive alive, and get six points on the board. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. He was on target the first time. This is a chip shot. He is 23 yards out. Right down the middle. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. First play of the drive. They come out throwing. Grab behind the line. It's screen. Brought down, but broke the tackle to produce a solid gain there. That's the two-minute warning in this close first half. The offense trying to score and claim the lead before the break. Pass caught, second down now. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. Throws it to the right. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. set now five wide the 
It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. With the catch, it's Stewart. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Well, of all the receivers to lose track of, it's this guy, one of the best receivers in the entire country. Lucky that wasn't the score. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Oh, and it's incomplete. He flat out dropped what would have been a touchdown. Second down coming up now. Man, I don't know how he wasn't able to hold on to that football in the end zone. That's a touchdown. A great opportunity lost, but a lot of relief for this defense. When they get the film next week, they're going to want to know what happened. What was the breakdown that almost allowed that big play? Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Quick throw to the left side. And he pulls in the catch. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. The Ducks will have first and 10 here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. That's reeled in. It's Stewart. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Man, Chris, everything seems to be clicking for this offense. And if they can keep this up through all four quarters, it could get really ugly by the fourth. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Yes, caught. Can he get in? And he's down at the three-yard line. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. And the Ducks come to the line with first and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. And the offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Defense bringing out some big fellas trying to stuff the run here. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Man, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. With the extra point, the lead is 14. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And the kickoff will be returned. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. Backed up this close to their end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. 
and brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field, somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Madison. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. And the Ducks will kick it deep to begin the second half. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. First player of the second half is a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take a lead in this game at some point. Handoff here from the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. And the Badgers will come to the line to run the hurry up. To throw, it's Van Dyke. And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the Badgers will have to kick it away. It's a rough drive for the offense. Hunter comes on and booted away. And the fair catch signal for and take it. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. It's a two-yard game, second and eight coming up. the play fake looking to throw the football it's incomplete he was hit as he threw that time and now third down coming up well it's pretty simple the defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion after the second down incompletion we'll have to convert here on third down and eight dropping back looking to throw for the first down makes the catch it's Stewart and he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. The Ducks lining up here on first and ten. Ball handed off. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Offense getting set. It's second down. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And tackled after a small pickup there. Looking for a 
fresh set of downs. To throw, it's Gabriel. And they get to completion. Tackle made after a big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and a quarterback makes them pay for it. The Ducks pick up enough for a first down. Using his legs, it's James. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. He's got it, looking for the end zone. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Grab behind the line. It's James. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. But these guys clearly weren't even thinking about a field goal in this one. They know that field goals won't win a game like this anyway, so be aggressive. And now it's first and goal. And the Ducks line it up with first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Ducks. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game? What a day. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point makes it a three touchdown lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's when they start the drive. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Catch made over the middle. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. A completion makes it second down. They'll run it to the right side. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Makes the grab. It's Anthony. That picks up a first down. We'll spot it at the 39. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Takes the handoff. It's Malusi. Gets into space at the 50. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. And the Badger is getting set on first and 10. He'll hand it off. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Offense 
Falcons get set up. Here's second down. The back's got it. Tackled, but first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Keeping it on the ground here. Throws a stiff arm. <laughs> Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Dropping back. It's Van Dyke. It's a quick grab. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. So now it's third and short from the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Stock right there at the line. No gain. Well, this offense has really been moving the ball at will on this drive. And a nice job here on this defense to finally come up and make a nice play for no gain. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Robinson. They stop him at the 11. Not good field position to start the drive. The Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle. Kirk showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Looking to pass, it's Gabriel. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. The defense does a nice job of forcing the quarterback here to be patient by playing zone. They run a crossing round. Defense is there, but not able to break up the catch. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Tackle made after a solid gain. They'll spot the ball at the 34. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Chris, sometimes the quarterback's just trying to find the open guy and get him the ball. It's exactly what he's able to do here. Found a way to pick up the first down. First and ten play coming up. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They stop him with the 47, but that's enough for a first down. Boy, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. And the Ducks pick up enough yards to move the sticks. Looking to throw now on first down. It's an out route. The catch made. 
When you throw an out route against man coverage and it puts a premium on a receiver who can set up the defensive back to be able to still have room to get to the outside and be timed up with a quarterback, that was great execution. As we wrap up the third quarter, check out the comparison of these big play wide receivers. Both guys have been lighting it up so far today. First down yardage. Boy, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice, solid victory. The Ducks will line up on first and ten. And the same runners got it again. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And that one produces a decent game. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. You know, sometimes, Chris, we get caught up in the speed and the quickness, and obviously those are important assets to have as a running back. But what you just saw from this guy, and he's had a pretty good day, is his ability to break tackles in the open space. And he gets through those arm tackles. You can see what he's capable of doing after being able to shake free with the speed that he has. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. The pocket breaking down. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Well, that's the one thing about a guy that always feels that he can rely on his legs. He's always trying to make a play, and this time he just wasn't able to get away from the defense, and that is a big loss for the offense. This defense just cannot get off the field. The long march moves on. Pressure comes, and once again, no escape. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, Chris. Is people like to say this is an obvious passing situation. It's really hard to vary things up and confuse the defense. This time, the defensive line just came right in, expecting the pass, and blew up the play. That's two for two on third downs in this drive, but this will be tough. It's third and long. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. The Ducks will have to kick this away. He's on to boot it away now. The punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 25. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. They've had to settle for field goals. That won't work anymore. they got to find the end zone this time. Makes the grab. It's Anthony. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. Set it down to the offense, first and ten. Back to throw, it's Van Dyke. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, brings up second down.
quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Well, a touchdown to a wide open man. Kirk, what in the world was going on the defensive side of that one? Uh, what was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. Here's the point after attempt. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Bringing it out, it's Robinson. And he stopped in the 18. Returner tried to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Short throw complete to the tight end. As the tight end flex out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kurt. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. to be easy here backed up a long way to go for a first down looking downfield it's Gabriel goes to his right side there for the completion out of bounds but not before a big game this offense is ripping the defense apart today well the defense gets these guys to third down they got a chance to get them off the field and instead they give up the first down so the clock will continue to move and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. The Ducks begin a new series here, first and ten. Quick throw, that's an RPO caught on the left side. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Ferguson. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Oh, what a play. Man, this defense, they better watch out for this tight end today. It's proven right there how easily he can slip behind and get lost in coverage. And if that happens, this quarterback's going to find him and make you pay. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. And they'll set up for the PAT. Extra point up and good. They build the lead to 18 here in the final quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. Looking to pass, it's Van Dyke. 
Makes a quick catch. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. The defense with pre-snap movement of its own. A second down after that completion. Now someone moved just a bit too early. That'll cost him five yards. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Pulls incomplete. Broken up by the defender nicely that time. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, Often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground. The next tip ball could be going the other way. And he'll drop back here on third down. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Touchdown, Ducks. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. Well, it's just something freeing when you have this kind of lead and you can just turn the defense loose. Getting aggressive pays off for them here. They get the interception. And what athletic ability there to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Now they line up to kick the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back. He threw a pick six in the last possession. He pulls it in. It's green. Oh, and he fumbles. Offense keeps possession, recovers the fumble. Wow, the defense makes a huge play. They were able to poke the ball away from the receiver, but the offense was quicker to get to the ball, so they retained possession. Here's a first and ten play. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed, but what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. First down, we're going to throw the football. There's a screen pass to the running back. Defense makes the tackle, but that screen produces a pretty solid gain. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. That completion makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. He dumps it off to the tight end. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. So the ball plays right at the 50. Offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. Looking to throw again. It's a short completion of the tight end. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. Quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there.
Getting set. Here's second down. Back to pass. It's Van Dyke. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there. Big versus big. Third down upcoming after that completion. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Pauling. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down. And a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Badgers with first and 10 here. And he'll set up to throw. Tackle is made. It's a short gain, well short of the marker. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Fires it to the wideout, but they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass you got to have to come up with and make a catch. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. The sure hands. It's Pauling. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback, this is the kind of route that defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception or maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. Fourth down now. Time for perhaps one more play before we hit the two-minute warning. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. No, he stopped short on fourth down. The defense making a play that should just about secure this victory. Second down after that run on the previous play. Use the running game to chew on this clock now. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Ferguson. They tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Well, why not, Chris? Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's third down. This guy's been making plays all game long. Go back to him again, and it works out. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. 